Aloha, welcome to my channel. My name is Rochelle and I run a blog called MrsMommyMartin.com. There I share low carb recipes, tips and tricks on how to live a low carb life. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, you can find me at Mrs. Mommy Martin, all one word. I will link it in the description below. But that is where I share a lot of my low carb ideas and tips and behind the scenes stuff. And I even share my cheat days with you there. So today I'm sharing with you guys what I eat in a day. I'm contemplating doing it maybe every week. Maybe I'll do a what I eat in a week and upload it every Friday to share some of the ways that I switch up some of the boring, plain, low carb or keto recipes that a lot of people use. I try to keep it uh, interesting and I try not to get into the repetition of eating the same things all the time. So I try my best to switch things up and I'm thinking about sharing that with you guys every Friday. Let me know if that is the kind of video that you guys want to see. Just comment below, yes please, and I will start making that content for you. Full disclosure, we do lazy keto most of the time, and one week out of the month we do clean keto, just to kind of cleanse ourselves from all the processed stuff that we eat sometimes, even on a low carb keto diet. With that said, let's get right into my first ever what I eat in a day video. Good morning. It is seven in the morning. Just waking up, taking care of the dogs. Just took them out, fed them. I'm about to make my first meal of the day. It is going to be my coffee. I do this because I actually don't have breakfast. I only have like a late lunch. Sometimes that late lunch is also my early dinner and I just have one full meal a day. Sometimes I do a small lunch or sometimes I do a very large lunch, a very small, small dinner, like a salad. So today I'm gonna to take you on my journey. Let's see all the things that I eat in a day. Aloha, so it's lunchtime. Let's see what I'm gonna make. So one of my favorite things to make is a low carb wrap. I like to use the Mission Carb Balance tortilla shells. These are the whole wheat um, and high in fiber, 110 calories, they're super soft. Let's see, the carb count, there's 30 total carbs, but 25 dietary fibers. So it turns out to be only five net carbs for one whole uh, burrito shell. So what I like to do is take one of these carb balanced tortillas, see how big it is? Um, and I, I'll try to do it so you can kind of see and frame what I'm doing. So, um, so I take a tortilla and I lay down some mayonnaise. You can use whatever mayonnaise you want. This is just my preference. Um, this is the q -Pi, uh mayonnaise. It's a Japanese mayonnaise, and the difference between this and regular mayonnaise is that um, it's made with more egg yolk versus just egg white. So it has a more richer uh, flavor. Total carb is zero for this. Um, and basically it says it's the original egg yolk mayonnaise with a famous distinct flavor and color. Rich and creamy, blends perfectly with favorites. And so basically it's just mayonnaise, but made with egg yolk instead of egg whites. And to me it gives more flavors. So what I like to do is add a little bit of mayonnaise. And first, I'm gonna say that's about one and a half to two tablespoons. Um, spread it around, really good. And I'll put my meat. So this is my favorite chicken. I get it from Walmart. It is garlic, uh, garlic and herb chicken. And I always buy extra. Like I bought two pounds of this. It goes so fast. There's only a little bit left, so I'm just gonna use the rest of it. You don't want to waste this. This is really good. Okay. 
then I have Gouda cheese. Now all of this so far is zero carb except for the tortilla shell. The tortilla shell is five net carbs. So the Gouda cheese, put that down. I like to put jalapenos in mine. I like a lot of jalapeno. Mine, you can put as much as you want or not. Then we have lettuce. I'm a big lettuce person, so I love lettuce. Put a little bit extra. There we go. And there we have my wrap. So what I normally do is I fold the bottom and I fold it over and kind of just grab it like a burrito. Squeeze, 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 and ta-da. And there is my lunch. With that, I'll show you guys what I have. So I typically have some of these chips here and I put them in this because I leave them on the countertop and I kept the wrapper so you could see what it is. It is called Hilo, um, Hilo Life Nacho Cheese Almond Flour Tortilla Style Chips. So they're made with almond flour. Um, I like this brand a lot. I think it's really cool because I come, I come from an island where we do have a town called Hilo and it's spelled just like that but they pronounce it as Hilo. It's very low carb. Um, it's a keto natural cheese, just like Doritos. Uh, it has five total carbs and two dietary fiber. So it's three grams net carb um, for a whole ounce. And, and they're pretty, that's a pretty good amount. A whole ounce is a pretty good amount. Um, I got this big bag at our Costco. I know only certain Costco's and only certain stores have it but they also sell them online for the smaller single size bags um, that you can get. But I like to get them at my Costco and I hope they continue to carry them. So, yeah, that's about that. I've been weighing food for so long that I can kind of eyeball what the ounce looks like. So basically this is, oops, this is about an ounce of uh, the chips with my big tortilla wrap. And this is going to be my lunch for today. So let's total it up. Total carbs for the chips is three grams. Total carbs for this, this whole thing is only the tortilla shell carb because everything else is zero carb in it. So that's five net carbs. So five and three, this is an eight net carb lunch. Um, and this is just one of my favorite things to eat. Um, and it, mm. Thank you, Jesus, for low carb tortilla shells. Mm. Look at that. So good, you guys. The one thing I forgot to share with you is my drink. <clears throat> so I am hooked on these bangs. The mango, this one is peach mango flavor. Um, there's all different flavors you can try. They sell these at Walmart, Target, wherever. Um, I normally buy it in a big case from like Sam's Club or BJ's. I don't know if Costco has it, but they only have certain flavors. So sometimes I go to Walmart for the um, for a specific flavor. So this one is peach mango, and it's one of my favorite. There's also one called uh, something, but it's a fruit punch flavor. I can't remember the name of it. The fruit punch flavor and the peach mango flavor are my two favorites. Now this bang is um, ultra CoQ10. It has essential amino acids. It's zero carbs, zero sugar, zero calories, zero artificial flavor. And I gotta tell you, it's really sweet. 
for something that has zero calories and zero sugars, um, it's actually very sweet. But when you look at the nutrition facts on the can, it's all zeros. So fat, protein, carb, sodium, cholesterol, zero, zero, zero. The sodium says 40 milligrams of sodium, but everything else is zero. That's my lunch, guys. I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you later for my snack. All right, it is snack time. So <clears throat> this, I make my own little mix here. This is one of my favorite um, things to, to make. All it is is macadamia nuts and milk chocolate chips. The milk chocolate chips are lilies, so they are made with erythritol, not sugar, which is great. Um, this is the one I normally buy from Walmart. It's called Lily's, uh, and it's the milk chocolate style baking chips. Now, the total carb is eight grams. It has four grams of dietary fiber and three grams of erythritol, which is a sugar substitute that does not raise your blood sugar level. So, altogether for the serving size is 26 of these chips. So for 26 of these chips, it's only one gram of net carb because it's eight total minus the four dietary fiber minus the three erythritol. One net carb for 26 chocolate chips. <clears throat> so what I do is I mix them with macadamia nuts because one of my favorite snacks from Hawaii is chocolate covered macadamia nuts. And I bet you I could probably make my own chocolate covered macadamia nuts but why when I can just do a little mixture and eat it like this and it tastes the same. That was my snack today. I will see you back at dinner time. All right, so it is dinner time and we're gonna make a taco skillet meal. And basically what I'm gonna do is do some ground pork, taco seasoning, mix that all up, um, put some veggies in it. We're gonna layer some cheese over that and then, once it's all done cooking and melting, we'll layer some lettuce and sour cream and hot sauce, and we'll have it as a skillet meal. Let's get to it. I will probably have one more snack tonight that I will share with you and that's it. So here's our taco skillet meal. That was good. <laughs> that looks good. So here's our taco skillet meal and I'm gonna add a couple of jalapenos to the top of it. You go girl. Thank you. And a little bit of the queso sauce here. There you have it, pork skillet taco meal. It's very, very good, very, very filling, very, very low carb, and very keto friendly. Hi guys, okay, I am going to share with you my final snack of the day. It is called Think Bar. It is the chocolate peanut butter pie bar. It's a keto protein bar um, by the brand Think and it is four net carbs all together. So if you can um, fit it into your macros, I would say this is a great bar. It's a good size, as you can see. It actually does um, have a good size bar in there, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. 
but basically it is a chocolate peanut butter pie keto protein bar and the reason why it's considered keto is because it has high fat with 14 grams of fat for the whole bar it has medium protein which is 10 grams of protein per bar and it has only four net carbs so that makes it keto especially when you're thinking about the macro ratio let's open it up so this is what the bar looks like it's actually pretty good size and mm, so it's actually like a, a fluffy with rice crispy inside texture mm. And it's so good for your after dinner chocolate. My husband and I love to have chocolate right after dinner. Just to kind of complete our meals for the day. And this works so well. Mm. You can find it in the granola area. They have all different think bars, but not all of them say keto protein bar. A lot of them have higher carbs. This is the only one, the only flavor they have in the keto protein bar. And you'll see the black square that says keto protein bar on the actual box near the granola or the granola bars. So that's where I find mine. Thank you so much for joining me today on my first ever what I eat in a day video. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Like this video if this is something you want to see more of.